Okay, so welcome everyone. Tonight we're going to talk about Palawa healing technique, which is a wonderful modality that I learned about 20 years ago from my spiritual teacher, and it literally changed my life. Uh, so we'll talk about the benefits of Palawa, what it actually is. We'll talk about the difference between Palawa and Reiki and how I came about uh, with Palawa. Um, what I've done with my clients, I'll share a couple of testimonies and how it's changed my whole life. So you're in the right place. If you want to connect to your higher self, and especially if you've been struggling or suffering with any emotional or, or physical pain, or maybe you just want clarity on your direction um, and want more balance and freedom and happiness so you can thrive in your life. So. I met Kachina. Now, this lady here, this is my teacher, and it's actually 20 years this year. It was 2004 when I went and had a reading with her, and I'd just come out of a, a dysfunctional relationship and was thinking about um, getting back together with him. <laughs> and uh, so Kachina um, introduced me to Palawa back then, and Luckily, and she just started teaching it because um, it was brand new on the planet. She channeled it direct from spirit and spirit said, you have to start teaching this because the consciousness of the people on the planet are now ready for this healing modality. Now, going back 20 years ago, when you started talking about, you know, shifting consciousness, expanding awareness, connecting all 12 strands of DNA, people really put you in the woo-woo box. Mm. So um, this was my challenge. You know, I was so passionate because my life just took off. And, and I've been studying a lot of different modalities. Now, I already had my business before I met Kachina and I was working with clients doing body work and energy work and healing because I did have done Reiki since 99. But what it did um, for all the other modalities um, that I already was using is it enhanced it and enhanced um, just really up the ante on everything, my intuition, the messages that came through when I was working with clients, my work evolved more into somatic healing and really um, a deep emotional trauma work as well as releasing uh, any blocks. Um, I could just basically use x-ray vision and feel where the block was and visualize it dissolving. So oh, wow. that's the work that I still do today. And but the Palawa is what really put me on this path that just really shifted my consciousness to another level. Because my personal story, yes, I've had a lot of trauma growing up and I've dealt with a lot of different events and healed myself of cancer and autoimmune and um been in the pit with depression and suicide and so I've been there but healed my body naturally so I really know the power of the the mind and um, and how it's up to us to heal our own body it's not about looking outside of ourselves and and really taking charge of our health and our well-being and and taking responsibility but looking at the root cause and that's the area that I work with with my clients but it's about seeing things from a different perspective because we all have a story we've all had traumatic events and and some people more traumatic than others but it's about seeing it from a different perspective and elevating your energy vibration so that you can live in peace, love and joy and, and be the joyful person regardless of this happened and this happened because things happen for you, not to you. So 
through my journey, um, and like I've healed myself of cancer at the age of 21, and, and it was from my spiritual teacher back then that really put me on this path. So, um, and that teacher is no longer in physical form. And and then it was a blessing to meet Kachina um, around the same time as his passing. And so anyway, I will move on because it, it's not all about me, but I do have lots of other stories um, that it's really impacted. So over the years, now why is this not working? Click. Okay. So over the years, I've met a lot of different celebrities and it, it doesn't matter how successful or who, who they are, really everyone's got their own issues that they're trying to heal and everyone's on their own journey and, and everyone's here to learn and grow as a soul. So um, yes, they're wonderful people, but they're humans just like us. And then I've had some wonderful teachers over the years. This is just a handful of them. Um, there's many that I haven't even listed here, but um, and some of them that you may recognize. And, and, and they've helped me on this journey to really, well, it's like, yeah, we're in resonance because everything they've they're still talking about today is what I believe and what I also incorporate into all my teachings and sharing with my clients.